I'm Amy Rowett, Professor in Integrative Biology and Physiology at UCLA. I teach the Science and Food course, Science and Food, the Physical and Molecular Origins of What We Eat. As part of the course, the students are required to do some final independent research project. And this is to give them a flavor of the scientific method and how we as scientists go about doing scientific research. So to this end, uh, they were challenged with the goal of making an apple pie. Apple pie is a complex material that's very rich in many scientific concepts. So you can find examples of elasticity in the formation of networks of proteins, for example, in the crust. Um, you've also got the the filling of the pie, and for that you want to somehow tune the viscosity so the filling of the pie just doesn't run all over your plate when you cut into it. You've also got to consider heat and how heat is transferred from the oven into your pie and the cooking of the pie, how this can impact the browning reactions that happen on the crust as well. So um, for all of these reasons, I felt like apple pie would be a fantastic scientific challenge for the students that would also captivate them because it's such a familiar and delicious food that we eat. So the rules of the contest were as follows. The students had to make an apple pie uh, and they had to produce some data. They had to do a science experiment that generated at least one plot, one graph of some data. The day of the event, they had to bake their pies in the morning. They had to produce a poster and display it and prepare their pies to be served for the taste testing. Then they had to explain their work to the audience members who came by, including the judges. Another important component of the structure of the event is the Iron Chef style judging. We had uh, on our panel Jonathan Gold, restaurant critic of the LA Times, Evan Kleiman of KCRW's Good Food, Sally Krasna, a professor emeritus at UCLA, as well as Andrea Casco, a professor in bioengineering here at UCLA. The criterion that we set out for the judges were broadly grouped into three categories. A, the quality of the science, B, the quality of the presentation, uh, and C, the quality of the pie. It was a very lively discussion. Naturally, pie and food are somewhat subjective matters, and uh, when you have people with such strong opinions about how these things should be done, it gave rise to some heated discussions in the judging room. Zoe Nathan was all about salt, and uh, anything that was not flavored with salt in her mind was a horrible pie. Jonathan Gold had an aversion to peanut butter, and so therefore any pie that used some sort of peanut butter could not be considered for winning a prize. Then there was this modernist pie where they spherified the apple juice into these blobs uh, that had liquid core and a solid shell and decorated it with graham cracker crumbs and a little slice of the apple peel. This in, in many minds was a very creative version of a pie, but it wasn't really an apple pie. So that sort of led to some controversy as well. Even though some of the judges admitted to having an aversion to eating this modernist apple pie, they admitted that it actually tasted really good, that it was the best tasting pie. And then we had the best overall, which was awarded to a solo team who had amazingly investigated the effect of different types of butters with different butter fat contents the effect of the pH of her streusel topping and the uh, rate at which the browning reactions occurred. So she did a very thorough and comprehensive investigation of a, um, a streusel bar type apple pie. Did the event change the way the judges think about pie? It's an interesting question. Uh, I think that at some level it did. You know, the fact that these naive students come in, they put 
They throw avocado into their crust. They throw chia seeds into their filling. These were things that these chefs had never thought about before. It's not um, anything that I think they would take away and start producing at Huckleberry or Milk Bar, but I think definitely it, um, it did instigate some change in the way they think about pie. We were very grateful to have sponsors for the event, such as Breville, who very generously gave us a lot of prizes for uh, the students. They also loaned us many appliances for the baking of the pies and also for the latte stand, which was churning out lattes for the audience members to drink along with their pies. We're also very grateful to Whole Foods, who gave us a lot of the food that the students need to make the pies. And of course, UCLA Dining Services, which generously opened up their kitchens for the students to bake the pies. This was an extremely memorable event, and I think this day was one of the students' favorite memories about the entire class.